Whenever I do talkback radio and mention the fact that most modern cars are now sold with an automatic gearbox, I get a flood of calls, disproportionate number of which are for people who love their manual transmission. They believe in any democracy that they have a right for this product to be made available to the public. Now, Volkswagen is doing their bit to, not just with manual gearboxes, but providing a hot hatch, which has a manual as an option, but also a little bit of that feel for motoring without losing comfort or safety, but that feel for motoring from 20, 30, maybe 40 years ago. It is a feel that gives you a closeness to the mechanics of the car. It's the Golf GTI and they call it the original. And it reflects back to 1976, their first model that they produced. It is a the new version, a three door model. And it has a number of features that really make it an enjoyment to drive. The first Volkswagen Golf appeared in 1974 and their first GTI hot hatch version in 1976. This latest original package has many modern features and comfort but not all the latest technology wizardry for a car to assist, some say interfere, with the driver's role. It creates a feeling of being in contact with the mechanics of the car in a way that motoring enthusiasts love. It has a three-door body, weighs only 1,300 kilograms or so, has 169 kilowatts at the high rev range, and a very impressive 350 newton metres of torque, starting at 1,500 RPM. There's a six-speed manual or a six-speed dual-clutch gearbox. It does have some of the latest technology, such as city emergency brake and pedestrian monitoring. It looks good on the outside with 18-inch Sevilla alloy wheels, which are black with a red pinstripe. In the cabin, there's an 8-inch infotainment system with App Connect, a rear-view camera and driver fatigue detection system. It harks back to its heritage as an affordable hot hatch with a starting recommended retail price of $37,490. Add 2500 for the DSG gearbox and the sole option is a driver's assistance pack at $1,600, which gives you blind spot detection and a few other things. I shared the drive with respected motoring journalist Paul Morell, and I wondered if he felt a twinge of nostalgia. Did you have flashbacks of your early motoring career? Oh, David, I always have flashbacks of my early motoring career. Whenever I get behind a steering wheel. But isn't it interesting that when we got into that car in, in at Sydney Airport, we rushed for an automatic because we know we knew we'd be driving through Sydney traffic. And then the minute we got out of Sydney traffic, we said, give us a manual. Three-door hatches are for those with specific tastes. Volkswagen started importing the three-door Scirocco to Australia in 2012, but it did not do well, and they stopped selling them in the second half of 2017. According to Volkswagen, the three-door Golf GTI has a better chance because it has its own construct. With the nameplate of the second most popular car model in motoring history, it has a strong, well-known image. But you are putting fashion ahead of function. The three-door, it's interesting, isn't it? You know, we talk about the practicality of five doors, and you and I both agree that it's so much easier being able to open the back doors and throw things in. That includes kids, dogs golf clubs, whatever it may be. But when we let the, the heart rule ahead, suddenly the three-door comes back up the scale because it's a prettier-looking car in many ways. It has a more sporting pretension. If you're not going to be practical about it, a three-door makes very good sense. When we got in the car for the first time, I had an immediate flashback to a 1969 Holden Monaro. The reason being that the Volkswagen had a tartan upholstery and this reminded me of the houndstooth upholsteries. In other words, something with a very distinctive pattern on them back from the Monaro days. It certainly looked bright and stylistic inside, didn't it? It did, David. Uh, I mean, the tartan pattern has been pretty much a golf hallmark ever since 1976. It sounds awful. It sort of sounds like Jackie Stewart's trousers, but it, <laughs> it actually works quite well. 
And yeah, I guess we get a bit tired of the you know the the uniform black leather and the dark greys and the you know the very sober interiors. It's nice to have a bit of fun with it. And the Golf three door is designed to be a fun car. While we drove the DSG model in the city, when we went out in the country, we immediately swapped cars for one with a manual gearbox. And we had just the road for it, the Macquarie Pass on the Illawarra Highway, south of Sydney. A steep climb with many tight bends. Oh, wasn't it a delight? Absolutely. And isn't it, you know, there's such a greater sense of engagement with the car when you're changing gears and operating the clutch. It's like, it's a bit like you're in control. It must be what I guess pilots must feel when, you know, when they're flying a stop with camel and they're flying the plane or when they're flying a 767 and just sit there and let the autopilot take over. <laughs> that is a perfect description. I found that where we got onto those t- very tight 25 kilometre an hour bends, I double shuffled back into second gear instinctively. Yeah, you definitely did go through a throwback, didn't you, David? I mean, you know, you went back a long way further than, the, than 20 or 30 years with a double shuffle. <laughs> You commented when we were driving the car that it, you felt a little, a degree of understeer. Now, one of the things that we've always talked about with the Golf GTI, and particularly the, the, the higher spec models, is they have this locked front differential, which makes the, almost takes away the characteristics of front wheel drive. It, it pulls out of corners so much better than, than it would, than most front wheel drive cars do, because with a front wheel drive, you lift the inside wheel, that starts to spin, you lose a bit of traction, you know, understeer comes in. This car, because it's um, it's called the original, the idea is that there's more driver involvement and probably less technical involvement. Um, this car doesn't have that lock differential, so therefore you have to drive it a little cleverer. Cleverer. Oh, I love it when you talk technical. But um, don't get us wrong, it is still extremely competent. And so the Volkswagen Golf GTI original Bought out to shift the balance back to more driver feel and less technical involvement from the car without compromising modern comfort, build quality and competitive pricing.